Hi guys, welcome back to my Pick a Card Friday. I'm going to try this again. I'm trying this from a new angle. I was really critical of myself. I watched back and what things I wanted to change. So I'm uh, using a camera tripod. I still haven't gotten my other two tripods in it yet. So we'll try to give this one a whirl and see what happens. So I have a windstorm going on outside. We had, we had really nasty weather the past two days. So if you hear the wind howling... Maybe it's Spirit's Confirmation, or it's just, um, actually these don't go in the reverse, so I'm just going to switch this around, guys. Um, if you, take it as you will. <laughs> just have fun. This is for fun, you know? So just take a deep breath, relax, get yourself a piece of paper and a pen. And then you could write, you know, write down the date and then you could go back and um, see what, you know, resonates with you during the month or during the week because I do this every Friday. I'm going to try and do this every Friday. So come join us on Instagram on Saturday, Saturday, November 2nd, Soul Work, S O U L W R K, on Instagram is going to be the host. So it'll be herself. And you know how you do the split screen on Instagram? So every time she switches the intuitive, it'll be that intuitive and Aaron Live, which is Soul Work. So go give Aaron a follow. And it's going to be a live 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come check us out. JJ Constellations will be first, JJ, followed up by myself or Lightwork. Well, I'm going to message them later on and see if that's still the case. I love how the candle's flickering. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, now we're going to pull the Archangel cards. I've been really pulled to the Archangel cards as an extra, like, confirmation or an extra I don't know it's just something I've been drawn to them lately for everyday readings especially with the with the Sag um moon it's like the sun is in Scorpio and the and the um moon is in Sagittarius it's like it's like intense in the energy and the Sagittarius sign is fire. So it's a fiery moon. So it's like, you know, passion and, you know, electrifying kind of energy. So all the barriers, as I've been telling you, barriers were in the way. And they were starting to live from October 15th to the 1st. But now we have Mercury retrograde. And I do, do excuse me for saying that Mercury retrograde was before. I had seen a post saying that it was, so maybe that was just the pre to it. And let me tell you, I had an anxiety. I guess that was the, the pre party to it. So it's like almost two months of this intense energy and it'll break away from us. Um, November 20th. So just bear with it guys. Just stay strong. We're told to watch our words. You know how sometimes something comes out of our mouth. You didn't mean to say it. You know, just make sure you catch that and make sure you correct yourself and apologize immediately so it doesn't fester. Because I used to sit there and not correct myself and it's like, you know, I'm such a ding dong because I'm causing more of a headache. It's not even a headache. You just don't want people thinking that you're some a, a certain type of person that you're not. Watch your energy too and set up your boundaries. Don't be giving your energy away freely. And watch who you spend time with because we're absorbing people's energies at this time. So watch who you're hanging out with. Some people, like I was hanging out with someone and they were, they said some pretty harsh, well, harsh comments, but I've heard it all my life. And, um, I just said to myself, that's more of a, uh, of, you know, it says more about her than it does me. 
you know what I mean? Like, I was feeling nice. I had my hair up. I had a bunch of earrings on. And, you know, I was feeling myself. I didn't have any makeup on. And that's hard for me. I always, 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 always had to have makeup on before even I left the house. So, me not wearing makeup all the time is different. So, the last cards I'm gonna, deck I'm going to pull from is the Game of Thrones deck. So the last three days we got the the uh, some sort of a man on uh, the the man on the, the the white horse the the prince charming the knight in the shining armor you know so coming in till maybe fog our judgment I got that a lot yesterday so I I think some people are having a tough time with this intense energy and they're taking substances to kind of take the edge off of it and it's like just be careful. You know, don't fog your judgment to the point where you're making poor decisions. I understand, you know, hard weeks, hard days, you know, have a glass of wine, takes the edge off, you know, you forget your worries. I totally get that. Relax, take a bath. But don't let it fog your judgment. Excuse me, I'm just going to take a drink here. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. I'm really appreciative of it. If you come on, I, you, I try to go on live every Saturday because I've had such a surge, like, you know, every week of um, new people um, supporting me. So I try to go live every Saturday night after Shabbat is, has ended. And I try to... Um, Read for those people that I've never read before. I do have a group that follow me every single week, but they understand, and I've made it quite clear that if I see someone I haven't read before, I'm going to read for them. So we have group one, group two, and group three. I made a mistake last video and didn't timestamp the um, where the beginning of the cards were, so I'm trying to learn. Um, JJ does that, so I'm trying to learn. That's what, that's why I love following other uh, intuitives, other mediums, whatever you want to call them. So the first card here for the first pile is the Empress. Ooh, very strong, powerful card there. I dropped a card on the floor. I'm going to read that near the end. It's just taunting me on the floor. So when we pull the Empress, it's like it's, she compliments the Emperor. So the, when you see the Emperor, he's this very strong presence in your life. So this is a, a very strong female in your life or this this is either yourself a representation of you or someone in your life a very strong female in your life so the key meanings are um fertility creativity uh, authority abundance peace so we have her in the reverse so we have this in the reverse position in the reverse position the empress reveals in balance in a relationship and, and finances you or a person close to you may need to be less controlling and money needs managing creative projects may fester because you f you feel blocked so we got the, a warning about our finances uh yesterday in the daily pick of cards it's actually loading up right now because of the storm my internet's a mess so just know, just keep a budget for Christmas, especially with the holidays coming up. Like, you know, you buy, you buy hostess gifts. Oneness is my true nature is your second card. So it's like, make sure that you're on a budget. Make sure you're, I've been saying this for um, a couple videos now. Make a budget and buy more meaningful gifts. So clear your space. So here we go. We're going into, in the Eastern world, we're going into, um, the winter season, we're in mid-fall winter season, so the weather is getting cooler. So anything that doesn't fit you or, you know, anyone around you, like your children, donate to someone. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. So clear your area, and I've been called to do this. I've been trying to get to it. It's just, oh, I've been so busy. The magician. So someone could be having secrets around you. You can do anything. Take charge of your life and you can manifest what you need to be a success. Yes, you can. Like anything you want in life, just, you know, when you want something, you know, like, you know, you want, like, for instance, you know, you want the Jeffree Star palette, you know, the conspiracy palette. 
everybody was online like two, three hours before. Like, you know, as soon as they woke up, they got on. And the whole sack crashed. But you keep clicking that refresh button to ensure that you get something. So, like anything in life, you make sure that, that you're passionate about. You put that kind of energy into what you want to manifest. And it looks like these are poppies here. So it's like November is the time for manifestations. So this has no reverse meaning. Okay, guys, just make that clear with the fairy decks. There's nothing you can accomplish. The fairies are magical and you can manifest whatever you need in order to be successful. The, the resources you require will just miraculously appear. Money, intuitive ideas, creative abilities, or friends who are willing to help out. Understand what you ha you already have varies to what is in need of following the fairies to send you the, the perfect gifts. So when you're doing your manifestations, make sure you're being quite clear of what you need right now. So um, you want, uh, me personally, I'm trying to work on uh, a tarot deck. So I've got some sketches done and I'm just looking for the time. I'm trying to find free time to sit there and actually do a hard copy of it. Actually um, put it into like this kind of form. So that's why it's like, make sure you're manifesting that, watching your energies. You have amazing skills and creative talents that can you can rely on. However, it also it's also wise to seek out good advice from experienced people. So with myself, I'm just saying this is an example. With myself, with the tarot deck, I would ask other people. And I have been. I've been doing my research. I've been, you know, doing my homework and asking those people that have actually voiced about a tarot deck. I've been asking them, you know, where did you get it printed and, you know, stuff like that. So that's the kind of stuff, you know, if you want to do a cookbook, you know, you want to sample recipes, have a bunch of people over, sample a recipe, give me your honest input because you want to do a cookbook. You want to launch a website, go to people that you know that have a web, a successful website. Where did they go? How much does it cost? Can you do a free one so it doesn't cost you any money? So stuff like that. Allow others to open doors for you or make introduc introductions to those who can point you in the right direction. Our magician has accomplished his climb to the Glastonbury Tower, where he, um, he ascends additional wisdom and protection. Now he is walking alone along an easier path part of the path towards the base of the mountain. So the we, we've been on this journey. It's like, oh my goodness gracious. Like, you know, when are we going to get to the top? Everybody's asking me, when are my, my, my uh, wish fulfillments going to come in? I've been wishing for love. I've been wishing for a partner. I've been wishing for money. And we had barriers in the way. And it's like barriers are fear. So we got to make sure we remove those first. And then the barriers that the universe has put for us, sometimes the universe is protecting us from some things. So, you know, I think, I believe with the poppies as the symbol, uh, this looks like poppies to me. I believe November is going to be a good month. Things will start to come, things will start to come unblocked. And think, like he says, things will become more easier. He has climbed his climb. He is at the easier part of the path now towards the base of the mountain. So we're at the easy part now. Additional meanings of this card, taking charge of your life, the abilities to do anything, success due to excellent training. A talent to accomplish great things. Visualize your hopes and dreams. Great time to do a vision board if you want to as well. So a woman holding a coin. So to me, this symbolizes the lucky coins. I have one on my keychain. I used to get them from uh, downtown from the Asian shops that I would buy my katanas from. I, I love the Asian culture. I love um, their little trinkets and stuff like that. It's, I have them all over the house, like the, the lucky cat that waves the hand. I have a couple of those. So to me, this is luck. So it's woman holding a coin. So this may be yourself. Like she's like luxurious. She's a luxurious lady. And it's in a positive, um, a positive, um, position. So hopefully this is luck coming your way this week or November. I like that poppy symbolizes November for me. Woman holding a coin. Female connections in money, health, or value. The elegant dressed woman on, on this card sets her, sits on a beautiful chair holding a bright gold coin. 
When this card appears in a woman's reading, it is it refers to her directly. So this is directly at any female that has picked this this um this pile. And a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or health. This card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. You may you may give your financial financial advice or connect you with someone who does. The woman may uh, be someone you meet where you make your money or maybe so work. So somewhere where, where you make your money, your work, your internet, wherever you make your money. So someone's going to cross your path and it's going to bring in more money. Or it may be a woman of wealth and value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful, helpful assistance or even the possibilities of new love or friendship connected to a, a woman of wealth or business. So that's a pretty nice uh, spread there. So congratulations to whoever got that. You got some pretty powerful cards there. I'm going to just set these aside. So that was choice one. And we're going to go to choice two. So first card. So the four swords. So here it looks like someone has passed. They're in, it's, it's not passed or they're healing. I'm just going to take a closer look to this because he has his hands on his chest, but the way that they're like, they have the hands over them. So it's like they're healing them. So maybe you're coming into some sort of healing. Maybe you're a medium, maybe you're, um, a chakra healer that works with the crystals, Reiki. So just keep, be mindful of that, that, you know, maybe you need a spa day, you know, like try to make it, you know, when you see something like that, try to make it into modern days. Like what would healing be? Like, so maybe you're going to a doctor. So the four, the four swords, refuge, rest, recovery, stress, withdrawal. So we were telling, we were told by spirit that there was this in-between time between chapter one, this chapter we just finished and the chapter we we're beginning. Last week was all about Wheel of Fortune. A lot of people were starting a new beginning. So it was the old, one in three got new beginnings. The second one didn't get any sort of, sort of indication of that, of moving forward yet. So maybe this is the time that they're talking about is taking that time of isolation to heal from the past. It's time for rest and recuperation after a period of stress. This may this many mean this may mean taking time away from work to recover from physical ails or pressures or putting a relationship or project on hold until it's time to make a decision. See this as an opportunity to find personal find personal space and perspective. The card can also show time to uh, reconnect with your spirituality. So a lot of us in that time that I, I was speaking about have been called back to your faith that you grew up with as a child. Hope is the conduct of mir for miracles. Beautiful. Maybe you need this time out. Maybe you're feeling really overwhelmed. I get that sense of over. I've been feeling overwhelmed. Like we homeschool. So we, um, we've been going for, we're going on our fourth month of school and not had a break. So I think I'm being called for a break. So indigo and crystal children. So these are your children that are around you that, that are, you know, are intuitive. So this is Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So keep, be mindful of the children around you. We got that yesterday also with the family card. The lovers. Ooh, I love this. True love that is long-lasting. Choices made from the heart. A return to good health. I've actually just started getting back into my routine. I usually work... I Honestly, I would go straight. I wouldn't take a break. I wouldn't take a day off. But ever since I started practicing Shabbat, which is complete rest, Friday night to Saturday is my rest. But I just worked out before I started filming this video. So it's like making it a priority because like how many people do you see now? Health is wealth. You see Oprah. She's what in her sixties now and she went to Weight Watchers and she looks amazing. And you see a lot of people health is wealth, when, especially when you get older. Cause we think we're invincible when we're younger. I can eat anything. I can do anything. 
I just turned 39. So it's like I'm beginning to see and feel how my body is reacting to certain foods. And it's like, okay, I need to make a change. So instead of eating uh, white um, bread, I'm eating whole wheat. I'm being, uh, making the, the mindful change to not eat white bread. So I'm trying to, you know, eat less of that, uh, the, the pastas, the rice, and try to go to like the whole, um, the whole, the wild rice and the whole wheat and oatmeal, stuff like that. Oh, I'm reading from the wrong book here. Beg my pardon. I haven't started reading yet, but I'm just, um, I picked up the wrong, um, guidebook. So like I was saying, some of you have been asking me that follow me. Where is this love you have been speaking about? Some of you has come in. Some of you, I told you, you're going to be balancing two relationships at once. You are deserving of magical and long-lasting love. The fairies, uh, campaign, romance, deep felt relationships for everyone. This card indicates that you are about to enter into a significant relationship in your life. If you already in one, this card signals the positive changes are possible at this time and should be pursued. So we got this. This is why I was pulled to the Archangel cards. I picked up my deck and I'm really drawn to this um, Energy Oracle deck. I love this deck. I, I'm always pulled to this deck really, um, for a while now. And, and during the summer, it was the fairies, the fairy deck. So... I have a lot of people that follow me in different situations and I'm like, I need some clarity. So I'm like, what would be the best clarity? You know, so I was like, let's pick up the Archangel cards. And they made a lot of clarity saying that some of you are going, like I said, make that date night, make your, your make you two a priority again. Like when we have kids, we lose sight of, uh, of each other. We lose that chemistry because it's all about the kids. Get the kids to point A to point B. Are the kids going to the doctor? What appointments do they need? Getting them to soccer, this, that, the other. So this is why I, I said some of the cards told you that you're going to, you know, relationship harmony. Some of you are coming back together because we also had the, 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 the nine in shining armor clouding our judgment. You know, a, a person from the past saying, hey, how's it going? You know, how you doing? You know, kind of thing. Like Joby Tribbiani on Friends or Wendy, you know, whoever, you know, you are. Like, you know, whatever floats your boat. And it's like, they're clouding our judgment. So it's up to us to see past the illusion and go in our heart of hearts what we truly want. So this is why, you know, it's important to watch the daily cards as well. Because it's like, you know, you get distracted. And it's like, is this person an illusion or is this something I actually want? The kind of romance that comes with this card is powerful and often has a past life connection. We got this yesterday. We got this in the daily pick of cards. That someone is coming back into your life. That we got this two days in rows. That, that someone from the past is coming back in. So keep your your keep your eyes peeled. This card can also refer to the need to make an important decision, whether related to relationships issues or not. It's sure to have a great emotional impact. It isn't an um an intelligent. This isn't an an, 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 an intellectual choice but rather one made from the heart. So I said, think with your heart of hearts. Your heart of hearts knows what exactly what you want. And while you are not, excuse me, I just sneezed everywhere. And while you may not know what to do, you're absolutely, you absolutely feel the right actions to take. Follow the ley line of the Holly Grail from Glastonbury. Our lovers are uh, uh, betrothed in Roslyn Chapel in Scotland, which is filled with carvings of symbols related to the Grail Mysteries. The chapel's stained glass windows uh, feature the images of St. Francis of Assis, uh, indicating purity, spirituality based in love and in this relationship, along with an image of a military, a, a military pilot symbolizing devotion, courage, and commitment in the marriage. So this is this love is going to be something impact. This is a long lasting relationship, wherever you are in your life. This is go this is going to have meaning. So this additional meaning to this card is engagement uh, or marriage, true love, opportunity opportunities attract opposites attracting. So myself as a widow, so I know what kind of person Shane is. I might, you know, I see a lot of widows. They go for the exact opposite of what their partner, uh, that their previous partner was. 
Seeking emotional support from others, excellent health. So we're getting a lot of positive cards for health, which is amazing. Angel of Love. So she's holding the rose court um, crystal. Her, her, her wings are made of rose court. She's surrounded by rose court energy. So we have a lot of love. So any one of you that picked this, um, this pile is going to have love come into your life. So hopefully those that follow me, I have a couple in mind. I hope you pick this deck. Tender Connections. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair, rose-colored wings. She holds a rose court heart, radiating, radiating tender and love vibrating vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you are looking for new love, this angel brings the message of it up of its upcoming approach. Or if you are longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life. She is here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward and the compassion that you uh, demonstrate towards yourself will influence energetic potentials of those events in significant ways. The angel of love is smiling on you and, and foraging connections in the energetic realm. So, when you sit there and you, tr when you're in a relationship, let's take this for example. My friend was telling me, you know, when I'm in a relationship, all these girls hit on me because I'm like, yeah, because you're happy and you're exuding all this happiness. And I'm like, you know, they all want to be around that. They want to be a part of that. And I said, when you're alone, you're depressed. You don't, you know, you're not taking care of yourself as you usually do. So it's like, you know what I mean? I'm like, keep that in mind. And I said, you're going to find someone. And sure enough, he did. And now the two of them, you can't separate the two. They're beautiful together. Excuse me, I'm just taking a drink. So that's what I'm saying. You know, you know, keep your hair did. Make sure you look fresh. You know, put all that love into you. Those people that you love the most, like your parents... If that's the case, put that love towards yourself. So the third pile is the eight of spears. We got a crow there. So maybe crows will be your symbol, like a positive affirmation for you. If you go outside and you see a crow flying over your head. So the key meanings of this eight of spears is travel, news, speed, communication. The eight is the tarot go card. So if you if there's something that you asked... They're saying to go because of um, it symbolizes opportunities to connect, travel, create, and be inspired. Stuff projects get moving and problems dissolve during this, this exiting fierce phase, frantic phase. But be mindful of your energy. So this is what I was telling you guys earlier. Put your barriers up and mind your energy. Watch who you're hanging around. That you're not hanging around those like you know people that are going to suck up your energy or they're really depressed and they're just going to make you feel awful. You don't have to say yes to every invitation. In relationship, the eight shows love news, and you may be traveling to see a partner. So maybe you meet someone online and they're not in your city. So we got this beautiful affirmation card. My capacity to turn in the, the energy of love gives me the words I need. When I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive. And the power I need when I am lost. So... You see these beautiful leaves all around here? I, I've had this deck for a while and I've never pulled this card. So this is maybe the fall, how you're going to feel for the rest of the fall season. Be compassionate with yourself. Give yourself that self-love. Be loved one. This is from Archangel Shamiel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So they're, bring, they're bringing it into you. So don't rush. Don't settle. You know, maybe you're not there in your relationship yet, so don't rush. Sometimes one partner needs more time than the other to catch up and realize what they have. So the Ten of Summer. Oh, this is a beautiful card. It's like they're on a romantic trip, the two of them on the boat. 
an emotional, an emotional, fulfilling life with family or friends. Raising children wisely. People you can trust. So especially with, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas coming about, that's a beautiful card. Spending time with family and loved ones is critical to a rich, happy life. We got something that's familiar to this with the Energy Oracle deck yesterday. Spending time with family. Making them a priority. Get it off your phone and play a board game with your kids. Go out for a walk. Make your family a priority. If you don't have children, make your partner a priority. This is the time of tenderness. You know, it's getting cold outside. You know, watch, snuggle up, put, light a bunch of candles and, you know, just get intimate again. The people you call family may be those who are related to you or may be people whom you have chosen as your beloved community. Either way, offering love and support to, uh, to those closest to you and accepting it in return is very important. Make space for them in your life. It's worth investing time and energy in your primary relationships. You can have the happy home life you are seeking filled with peace, emotional, emotional fulfillment. The couple of the two, the couple from the two of summer card have created a beautiful life for themselves and their children. Their uh, butterfly boat near the shore of Avalon means that the emotional currents will continue to evolve and thrive. Additional meaning of this card, a happy marriage, people you can trust, relationships that last, feeling emotionally connected, raising children wisely. That's a beautiful card. I love that. So we have a man holding a coin. So, you know, it, but it's in the reverse position. So maybe finances, remember with the lady holding the coin, it was lucky, lucky, lucky. So here it might be, you know, yourself it is losing the money or a partner is losing money. So just be mindful of that. Or maybe there might be a delay. Sometimes it's not always negative. It could just be a delay. And sometimes it's the actual opposite meaning. Male connections and money, health, or value. So it's the same thing, but a male this time. The reverse card reveals that you could be acting against your own best interests where money or health matters are concerned. You may be spending a bit too much on, or simply not being cautious enough about uh, what's really important. If that's the case, become more aware of your choices and priorities and bring more discipline to your life. So instead of sitting there and watching, you know, another episode of, I don't know, whatever your favorite program is, if you're able to work out while you're watching it, try and do that. You know, like, especially because winter is coming, I have to snow plow my snow. So I get a lot of workout still in the winter, but you know, on not the day I, I snow throw, but the day after or the next day, when, if I was too sore, I tried to work out again with weights or a kettlebell or um, doing sit-ups, doing floor uh, workouts, you know, c concentrating on my core because that's where my main issue is. So it's like making sure, like they say, health is wealth. So take care of your physical uh, body. Take care of your insides. This car reverse could be a warning of a self-absorbed of dismissive man who may be, who may be out for his own um, advancement. Even at the cost of your own. Yeah, don't, aren't I familiar with that? Be uh, cautious of the critical or damaging man around you. And always remember that you alone d demand who determine who has the real power in your life. So don't give up your power. Don't let this person try to manipulate you. Don't let this person try to, you know, slither their way into your life, it sounds like. No good. Absolutely no good. Big no-no. So I actually dropped a card on the floor here. So I'm going to turn it around and see what it says as a closing here. So we got the Nine of Spring. So this is a card that actually flung out. So this is a, like, to me, this is kind of good luck. I love ladybugs. Ladybugs to me means, ladybugs, ladybugs mean good luck. Protect the fruits of your labor. Prepare for possible changes that lie ahead environmental conservation i've been trying this card kind of runs in my head every time i'm out and i see garbage on the ground i pick it up now i'm trying to be more conscious of my surroundings you know we're surrounded by uh a lot of forest and we have a mother moose 
if you follow on my IG, you see that. We have a mother moose and her, her calves, or whatever the heck you call uh, baby mooses. And they come around and they're eating in the field next to where I live. So I, you know, I see garbage uh, sitting on the ground. I, I'd be mindful and pick it up. So the nine of springs meaning to close us out. As your hard work pays off and you have more and more to show for your efforts, it becomes very important to look after the fruits of your labors. The energies out in the world can be intense. More Every morning as you start your day, ask God, the angels, and the fairies to protect you from negative people and energies. You're up to, to the task set before you. This also this is also a card that reflects environmentalists and those who have love who love all the plants and animals of mother earth stand up for the more important causes such as protecting wildlife the oceans and our food sources a beautiful fairy stands in defense of the newly bloomed daffodils in her garden she is joined by ladybug friends to show un unity with nature and her cause so they say, like, you know, if you sit there and you do that, you're you're showing God that you're thankful for what you have. It's kind of a rite of passage. Like, you take care of everything around you. You pick up the garbage, you know, make sure that, you know, you put seeds out for the animals and stuff like that. It, you know, it comes back to you. Additional meanings of this card. Attending, attending to and to the protection of what you've created. Preparing for challenges that lie ahead. A strong immune system keeping you uh, resolve. So basically, guys, I got from that is just, you know, we're going to have a, this Mercury retrograde is going to be hard on us. So just like the the spirit of spirits has been warning us about this, saying that um, this in between the chapters of starting one chapter to the other, that this was a time of healing and reflecting. And this is a time of self-love. So with this nine of, of spring is the same thing. They were saying the next chapter is going to take a lot of our energy. It was supposed to be easy is what I was was uh, told. It was supposed to be easy uh, chapter that we're heading into. Like um, the magician there, he had walked up the hill. He, he's gone through all the hard parts. And now he's all, you know going along the easy path to the base of the mountain. So that's what I was told, like, you know, this next chapter was supposed to be like, we're going to have some, you know, peaks and valleys, like anything in life, but it's supposed to be for the most part, very positive. So if you are starting on your next journey, if you have any indication of that, then I, I applaud you and I hope you nothing but the best. If you're still in that healing state, that's totally fine. Everybody's on a different spiritual path. Everybody's on a different journey. Just take your time to love yourself and be kind to yourself during this Mercury retrograde and make sure you drink your water and get enough sleep. If you start hearing that negative voice, you suffocate him with positivity and self-love. You know, you hear something like, you know, you're not worthy. You say, no, I am worthy. What about if I don't get the job? What about if I do get the job? Then I could pay off debt and I could, you know, maybe treat myself to a nice dinner and I could buy this and I could buy that. Try to turn those negative thoughts into positive thoughts, guys. Love yourself. You'll, your brain, your your whole body will thank you very much for it. You'll sleep a lot better. You'll find a lot more peace in your life. And I know that it can be intense sometimes, but try to find your people you could talk to and vent to. And sometimes it's because we're not sleeping is why we feel so anxious. So just be kind to yourself. And thank you for all the new subscribers and all the continued supporters. I love you guys very much. We'll see you next Friday for another Pick a Card.